Hello, everybody. Well, he's going to hear me now over that. We're trying to figure out the headphone setup because for some odd reason it muted it yesterday. And it's not pairing back up with the phone. So we're going to get underway in just a second. I want you guys get into the room. Mama G. Hi, Dave. Hi, Janine. Hi, Iris. We're going to get underway in just a few minutes. We're going to let some people get into the room. Can you guys all hear me clearly? Can you guys hear me? Okay, that's because I'm sitting in front of it. That I know. Uh, how do I put that on banner again? So you go to StreamYard, mm -hmm. and then you go to get the banners. Click up there and say show. You get back up there. You can see. You can see it. Okay, we're still teaching Pam. Okay, we're gonna get underway in just a second, guys. I will put the first slide in front of you. I'm going to go turn the volume down a minute. He's not saying anything yet, Mama G. He wants to move something around. Yep. No, I it, it should be paired on mine right now. But I think what's going on is I don't have it selected on on StreamYard. Cam, mic, audio. Here we go. Blue. Now say something, Cody. Test, test. Ask them if they can hear. Me. Uh, uh, can you guys hear me by any chance? Okay. And that's, I had to change the setting in the stream yard. Yeah. Okay. okay, guys. Hopefully that's a little better. We got 48 people in the room. What's up? Share us out. Let us everybody know that we're on. 
Thanks, Cody. We're going to have some toys and some other items. Cody, you can come out here. You don't need to be in the office. I brought my son to work day. Okay, so first item up, we're going to get started even with under 50 people. We're still going to get started. <laughs> first item up is vintage. These are cake pans, and somehow you can make like these checkered pattern cakes. These are uh, probably 1940s in the box. Cream City 9-inch size. Checkerboard cake pan set from... Yeah, however you say that, you'll get that. Uh, $15 start. You have the Hillware New Modern Three Way Spring Form. So it's like uh, for angel food cake and layer cake, and Danish cake. As you can see, it's in there, still wrapped, old stock. Top of the box is a little rough. Now it's also 1940s. And then you have this vintage Scotch brand deluxe heavy duty cellophane tape dispenser. I believe this is also old store stock, if I remember right. Thank you, Sabrina. And we'll pull it out. There. There's the dispenser. It's very heavy. You can see it's model C21. There's the original paperwork. And the inserts are in the box. So a very large and heavy tape dispenser. Great for your packing and shipping if you like using a table dispenser. So you get all three items. We have $20, if you can for 22 or better. And everything is old stock. And then Cody, as we sell stuff, put a sticker on it. It just goes over there on top of the on the far side first until we move this other. Yeah, just over by those posters that are stacked up over there. So he's going to help us clear the table so we can keep moving. It's the two girls, two boys. Oh, your dogs? Mm -hmm. She has had uh, adoption puppies. Oh, nice. Got ya. Yeah. Now I know what Joe and Renee are going to auction off next. <laughs> Puppy dogs. So Flippin' Flamingo's next auction will have puppies for sale. <laughs> so Max, I'm going to Florida and get one. <laughs> 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 it's a nice little vintage lot wood binds in at 22 Janine he does not want to work for me he is now because mm -hmm. Didn't have a whole lot of choices. We have 25 of Sabrina. <laughs> He's definitely not into the antique stuff. He's oh, shaking his head. We love it here. <laughs> See? See? He said it's the happiest place on earth. How old? <laughs> He's 17. <laughs> Mama, do <dude's> asking. <laughs> He's 17. He'll be 18 next summer and he's moving. What's behind the cake pan? Another cake pan. A spring form for Hillside Metal Company. So it's an aluminum angel food cake pan. Look, it's even got the labels still on it. It's old stock. And this is both 1940s. And then the other thing is a Scotch heavy duty tape dispenser in the box. <laughs> He's trying. He's applied at like 30 places. 27 on the whole girl. 
I don't know. You can give Mo a wrench. I know him from the other groups. Mo, if you'd like to register, you just go to send me an email, the little banner at the bottom. Mama G, I spoiled him. I gave him 5% of whatever I sold on Facebook, and we were having you know $2,000 auctions. So in three hours, he was making you know, 100 bucks. Yeah. Now he works for pennies like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, my drink's here. Thank you, though. <laughs> That's his new thing when he's on um, his mic. He talks real quiet and calm. We're having the calm auction. <laughs> this is like that dream speak, whatever it's called. Yeah, ASMR thing. And tonight, I'm Beisel ASMR. <laughs> you are in a field. In that field are trucks full of merchandise for you to dig through yeah, and buy. So <laughs> ASMR is not supposed to be exciting. It's supposed to help you fall asleep and have dreams about merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. $30 to Sabrina Jackson. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Okay. Now, guys, I have a whole bunch of stuff here on the table. We're going to go through that first, and then we're going to get into like some bigger lots, some posters, some stuff like that. Some good ephemera lots. There are toys, and there's more vintage clothing, stuff like that. So there are two of these home accents, carafts. The boxes are dirty, but these are old stock. And they got lots of lots of fruit and stuff like that. And these are both matching. So those hot chocolate days. There's two of these. But wait, there's more. Um Let's add, what else do we want to add to this? I'm trying to find something that's very similar. Okay. I'm trying to find you guys things on the table that are similar. And we have some Lazy Susans, even though Tamara's not here. She seems to buy a lot of the porcelain stuff. Okay, so we have Vintage Lazy Susan. Let's see if I can find a company. This is what it says in the box. LG, don't know who that company is. But I think these also go to it. So they probably go something like this, I think. Or maybe this is two separate ones, I don't know. We don't do porcelain here. I assume this goes in the middle of this, like that. That's my assumption. Here is a base for another set. Right here. Hand carved in Japan. Can't promise it's going to get there in one piece if I keep touching it. And here is another Lazy Susan right there. This one says California 224 USA. 224 USA. This one's got a scalloped edge. Obviously, it's on a turnstile base. I do see a hairline in the dish right here. It, I don't see it on the outside, but I definitely see it on the inside. Perfect for taco, right? taco Tuesdays. So you have two Lazy Susans and two coffee carafes. 
right up here. And these are both new in the boxes, but the boxes are dirty. They came out of a house. Dirt's free. Starting with Junebug. Hi, Junebug. See how trusting we are for our buyers? I haven't even invoiced anybody yet, but I shipped out the diecast toys to Mama G that Junebug bought for her yesterday. <laughs> We're quick like that here. Premature shipping. <laughs> nice if one of these was marked. It just says USA 971 on it. You are more than welcome, Tammy. What? And you looked at me funny. USA pottery. Uh, this the scalloped one is California pottery. Smart C A L F on the bottom, and then the number two two four. So this one's California. California. No doubt about it. And this one doesn't really say much of anything. It just says LG. So I don't know what LG is. Nice. Dave, did you get your stuff? Did you like it? I don't even remember what Dave bought, so. Yeah, I don't even remember what Dave bought. Going once to June Bug at 40. I think he bought one of the mystery boxes of ephemera, I think. Yep, the one is California original, this one. And this one's got a lot of stuff to it. First got worth a 42. I'm just going to start picking some of it up off the table, guys, so that I can move the lot once you guys are done bidding. Because we can actually see the top of our filing cabinet for once in the last year. Thanks to you guys. Much appreciated. Pam has agreed not to quit for at least this week until I buy the the Boston House of Circus stuff, which is happening for sure. First cat worth at 46. Somebody might know what that LG is. First cat worth is that. And these are cute. I would throw the boxes away because the boxes look like caca. But the carrots, yep. But the carrots themselves are really nice. Perfect for hot chocolate. One with and without Kahlua. Going, going. <laughs> Forty eight dollars for Janine. Sold. Sold, sold, sold here. Crazy Eddies. This all goes together. Okay. Well, while we're getting the dish stuff out of the way. I have one giant box. This is going to have to be at $40 to start, guys, just because of sheer weight. <laughs> well, it's Christmas time, Chris. We call our, you know, candy cane now. 
Janine wants us to send that to Junebug. Okay. Send to Junebug. Okay, so I'll show you the loose-ish stuff, and then I'll show you the box pieces. This is just a dinner plate. I had bought a, like a replacements place out, like replacements limited kind of place at one point. So Noritake Prima Stone dinner plate, and these just happen to be like some of the better stuff from there. This is also Noritake Prima Stone. This one's called Malabar. This is a little saucer. This is a... Color Wave Noritake 403 saucer. So those are the only miscellaneous loose pieces. And inside of these little bags, there are five of these. This is all that stuff that came back from the Amazon load. I think whenever I sent these in, I sent in like 20 or 25 of these. So five of them came back, which means we sold a bunch. So these are actually really pretty. So they have like the platinum edging. They are Royal Worcester Mandarin pattern right there. You would buy individual cereal bowls. So there are five of these cereal bowls. The three plates, this is a $40 start and I'll show you where the real weight comes in and the real value comes in. It is right here. So these are Nortaki in the boxes. These are 12 inch round platters in rich mocha. So these are like giant chop plates. And this is cacao, I believe is the, uh, the name of the pattern. It is like a, you know, a chocolate mo uh, like mauve. Would you say that's like a mauve with a silver edge? I ask Pam because women see colors differently than men. So, so mocha. And these are 12 inch platters, like serving platters. Or a dinner plate for a big guy like myself. Thanksgiving. So you get one. Let me see if these are all the same. This one is cacao rich mocha, two. Cal Rich Mocha, Noritake, Color Wave. So this is like their stoneware. That's why it's so heavy. This is a different color. This one is a different shape. This is also Noritake Color Wave. Ugh. Forty just because of sheer weight and shipping. This is a giant like square plate, but it's a it's considered as a platter. But you can see it's Noritake stoneware. This one is large quad plate, eleven and three quarter inches in chocolate color. This is in the box. So you're getting the five Royal Worcester bowls, four Noritake color wave platters, three of them are round, one is square. Three are mocha, one is chocolate, and then these are beautiful. These are Royal Worcester, just like the bowls, but these are the serving platters. So this is a giant serving platter. And here's the pattern that goes around it. It's like a platinum, real nice classic look called Royal Worcester. This is Mandrian. And there's three of these mint in the boxes. I said I bought out a company that was kind of competing with uh, Replacements Limited had an auction. And I went to it and I filled a box truck at one time. And, and there's a few things that either didn't sell or we sent in too many. Um, I, I believe I, we sent these into Amazon and I think we sent in 24 of these and they sent us back three. So not too bad because they were, you know, a higher ticket items. So I don't mind it. We we'll get three back out of 24. So you're getting seven platters in all five bowls 
one plate, and two saucers. But it does weigh, my guess is, the stack's probably 25 pounds. Carolyn Delgado, NF50. And these being Noritake are really good. Their stoneware lines are, are pretty good for serving pieces. And we have 75 people in here. We thank everybody for being here at the auction. We are running Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, 1 till 4 p.m. This weekend, we are going to do a collab with T from Auctions for You. Uh, we will be on her channel Saturday from noon until about 6. Then we will be back here on Mr. Buys a Lot from noon until 6 on Sunday. I believe we're going to have a special guest coming in around 3 o'clock on Sunday, an auction with us. So a lot of a variety of merchandise, and we are going to get the front of this building cleaned out. Heidi Wesley at 55. So we're at 55 with Heidi. Hi, Kathy. Hi, KK. So again, these are the Mandarin bowls, Min Mandrion from Royal Worcester. So there's five of these. There are three of the large serving platters in the same exact pattern. And then the four Noritake stoneware uh, serving platters, three round and one square. What, our post lady? Yeah. yeah. She's probably, like, this is her first snow. It's snowing here. <laughs> so wants the Marilyn Delgado. And everything you guys buy is helping us get that much closer to being able to move down south to where it's warmer, near the beach, and bring our goodies down there. So if you're anywhere down towards South Carolina... Mr. Buys a Lot is franchising down there. Thank God no snow here, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Sold to Marilyn Delgado. Marilyn Delgado, this is yours. Thank you. Okay, let's do something. Uh, let's let's wean our way into something cool. Okay, so these are from Hamilton Collection. So they're like Danbury Mint. Um, hey, can I have a knife? A knife? Of course. <laughs> she gave me a knife. How many of you out there? Raise your hands. Show of hands. How many of you out there would give me a knife? Okay, so this is Hamilton. So these are like the limited edition plates. I don't know why my mom's pictured on this one, but... <laughs> Mom, how you doing? Oh, wait, this is Wharf. Sorry. So edition was limited to 28 firing days. Lieutenant Wharf. Star Trek plate. Here is the paperwork. <laughs> I used to run around the house and I was like, look, I'm running with scissors. I'm running with scissors. And my mom's like, would you hurry up and fall already? And I was like, why? And she's like, because that's a wooden spoon. So we have the Star Trek plate. Uh, let's do $25 start on the Star Trek plates. I don't know how many. I think there's three Star Trek plates. I believe there's three. 
So let's do $20 start. I'm even cheaper. I'm a cheap date. Obviously, Gold Border, Enterprise, Star Trek, The Voyagers from 1994, Hamilton collection, paperwork's there. So you got Worf, Hamilton. What's in those other limited edition plate boxes down there? Are they Star Trek? Or are they something else? Okay. Are they the Elvis ones or the Princess Diana ones? or Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell, okay. So then this is a Ferengi Marauder. Here's the paperwork for it. Limited edition. So you're getting all three plates, $20 start, shipped. And they are mint in the original styrofoam containers. Okay, do they have any interest in Star Trek? Okay, Chris Law is in at 20. What's up, Tom Cruise? Get the three Star Trek plates. All three have the paperwork with them. They are from the Hamilton Mint. Hello, Joy. Chandra, we have in at 22. But we have 24 with Chris Law. Let's go check. So $24 with Chris Law on the three Star Trek plates. Sorry about all the noise outside, guys. I believe they're picking up dumpsters. If you're out, let us know you're out. If you're in, put in a bigger number than the other person. And we will keep moving along. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of lag. Chandra's out. Going once. We're also going to do some more of the Nike slash Under Armour clothing, brand new with tags. We'll get it out the door. Oh boy. We're at 24 for the three plates. I'm going to start closing them up. Sold, 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 she said. There you go. 
Let's do a couple more. I think this one, you said there was an Elvis, right? There's an Elvis. These are Elvis. Okay. So let's do a music set. So this is Delphi from the Bradford Exchange. Pam said this is Elvis. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. This is this is Elvis in his kung fu outfit, looking at a legend, Delphi plate, nineteen ninety one. You will get three plates in the slot. This one has the paperwork right here at the bottom, and the uh, the certificate is also there on the bottom. So you got Ninja Elvis Presley. I guess I should leave them open so you guys can see. Ooh, this one says, Are you lonesome tonight? There you go. Elvis, $20 start for the three. David Zwires. And this is a Delphi plate, also done by Bradford Exchange. And you can see all the extra paperwork down there. Well, they ordered it directly from Bradford Exchange. And the last one in this lot is, let's see. This one's a Hamilton Exchange, but it said music. Oh, okay. It's Kiss. So we went from Elvis to Kiss all in seconds. It's amazing. That's what happens here. Rockers and Rulers, this is plate number 6,417, banded in 24 karat gold, 1997, from the Bradford Exchange. So now you get two Elvis plates, a Kiss plate, and $20 start. Whatever. Whatever they want to make it. Twenty is fine. Look, I'm going to add a fourth plate. You get Princess Diana, Queen of Compassion. This one's Franklin Mint. But wait, there's always more. So this is what you're bidding on: all four plates, two Elvis Presley, one Princess Diana, and one Kiss. So great little group. The Kiss one's awesome. Great little reseller lot. Twenty-seven with sand dollar right. Can you get some paper towels, please? It's usually something I would do. I was like, it's been sitting there for 20 minutes flat. It's like, it happens. $29 with Mark Johnson. So you get all four plates Kiss, Elvis, and Princess Diana. I exploded everywhere. <laughs> 31 with Sand Dollar Ray. Um, I don't know where stuff is. I'm tired of people calling wandering auctions. There's some fun in the um, on that table. It's like that. Always for car warranty, health care, old age. <laughs> well, you need that, Ron. Or loans. Joy in that 33. For my night worker, walker <laughs> business. <laughs> 35 of Sandal One of these days, guys, I'm going to figure out how to answer the phone while I'm doing the live with you guys. <laughs> and you can hear how I treat the people who call me trying to sell me something or trying to pay off my student loans that I don't have. Now the people who offer me loans, I'm like, oh, good. 
I can get street walkers that have real teeth. <laughs> For upgrade. Two phones, <laughs> question mark. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need ear peanut butter and banana sandwiches off that Elvis plate. That's you right. Eat, eat. <laughs> Toya 37. That was Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich. <laughs> Okay. Y'all done there, Messy Marvin? <laughs> I think so. It's clean. Thirty-seven with Mama G. Uh, nice. Joy. Okay. Oh, how about the vehicle warranties? Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, you know, if I agree to buy your warranty, can you fix the damage that happened for the guy that hit me and ran? Yeah. Oh, Elliot. Okay, Kyle, go ahead. Yes, I have Kyle Elliot and I have Mo Isaacs. Why are we going at 39? Who was it? Stuff. <laughs> hey, if you guys are looking for really cool Halloween decorations, at that <laughs> at that estate sale I went to this weekend, Pam bought an entire, well, she filled my car, her minivan, and another vehicle of Halloween decorations. <laughs> what is that? You guys think it's just me. Something in the water here. <laughs> Yo, ladies here. It's not real signatures. I think they're just facsimile. See, so it's like Peter Chris, Ace Freely, Gene Simmons, and Paul Stanley. Nice. Sold, sold, sold. Kyle Elliott. Yeah, generally, if you guys are doing the options together, you can absolutely do it. But I'm getting more registrations just because T's not always here. And I don't want to bugger, you know, two or three hundred times a day. Okay, so let's do this. I have one more information plate lot, but let's do this first. This is kind of cool. So this is a Barbie. She comes with her own bag. There. Battery operated baton. Get your mind out of the gutter, sicko. It's a remote control. She dances. She dances and twirls. Dance and twirl Barbie. 1994. She is mint in the box, never been removed. We have Mama G in at thirty dollars. Thirty. <laughs> Tammy, you do look like you're about thirty. That was 
<laughs> but, Pat, but Pat, how do you show how do you show the doctor where the guy touched you at then? You gotta keep the dolls. Uh, I was doing my cells uh, impressions. Good job, Brian. <laughs> He's a nice guy sometimes. Man, I can say why. Anybody else here, Pat? I can't hear him. <laughs> must be those round things on his chin. He must be eating spaghetti again. Well, yes. So we yes, we have snow. Yes, we do. We have snow, and we have a dancing Barbie. The batteries in her little wands. Dances around. <laughs> I'm, I'm making Barbie dance. I'm doing it for them. Okay, going once. Janine could have called it. Going twice. Get Mama G in at 30. Still dancing Barbie. All in. All done. 32 are better coming. Um, Two, three, two, Stove. It's missing a door. Up here. Thing comes off. Probably made by arcade. Yep. Salesman simply kind of stove. Burners. Then I have no clue what this is other than a small house. Probably me. Marked PC on the bottom. And it's metal wood. No, Tony, we didn't do any posters yet. So ten dollars start on this lot, and that to me is a big enough lot. So I want to go really random though. Yeah, why not? So also with this lot, we're gonna put the golf bag. The whole off bag radio telephone. Yeah, whatever. Ten dollars, sure. This phone's gonna cost us twenty five to ship, but ten bucks sounds good. <laughs> Can't lose a lot of money unless you do it in quantity. <laughs> so one of the golf clubs lifts up. So anybody who's friends with the uh, uh, Carolina Kicker, I think it is. All he sells is golf clubs. This would be awesome for his house. 
So it's a radio down at the bottom. It's a shape of a golf bag. It is a AM FM radio. It is by Sets. Looks to be eighties. Some can hear me and some cannot. Okay. Just the microphone. Jackie, you have to register with us. Yep. Jackie, if you want to make the bid, just send me an email. The bottom of the screen is my email address. Name, mailing address, and Yeah, I don't know what goes on with this thing. Maybe they can hear it now. I don't know. It might just automatically shut off after a while. There you go, Jackie. You're wrenched. Yeah, it's something like Beats headphones. It's what Verizon recommended, but I can't say that I would do it for recommendation at this point. Thank you, Kyle. Yep, Kyle, thanks. Can you pick this out? We have Woodbine from 28. For the vintage cast iron stove. From Arcade Toy Company. The doll desk. School desk. And the golf bag telephone radio. Ooh, that looks better. There you go. Hi, Kiki. Thanks, Pat. See you, Pat. Gold the wood going, girl. Hey, thanks, Crystal. Yeah, it'll take me a little while to get this microphone thing set up properly. We're new to this. I'll get this VCR tape in that DVD player somehow. <laughs> okay, here's an awesome lot. You guys should love this. I love this lot. Okay, very random. You get a handheld video game. You get a Fantastic Four laser sculpture. Box. Holds like a fountain pen. You will get a like Dungeons and Dragons Reaper figure from Warlord. You will get a set of Batman 1982. You look at these little leather. They look like boxing gloves, but they're gamer football keychains. I guess they're from footballs, and they have leathers on them. 
Rise up. You already have a wrench with us. You have trading card treats. So what this is, this is a sealed bag. These were sold uh, back in 90-something. 1991. And these were sold instead of giving out candy for Halloween. You actually gave out packs of Marvel superhero cards. So those are actually very cool to find in the box or in the original bag. And here are the actual packs. That is a sealed bag of 24 packs. And then the bag. So you get Wolverine, Captain America. I think each one has three cards in it. Something like that. You have three cards per pack. And then there's Ghost Rider. Because I see Ghost Rider on the packs down there. So these are Marvel. 25 of Kyle Elliott. No vintage teas today. That'll be this weekend. Uh, we are definitely doing vintage teas this weekend. And we're going to have some vintage clothing today. So, Crystal, since you're here, that'll be good for you, like some vintage 50s and 60s. I should have let uh, Katie know. I usually let Katie and Vicky know when we're going to do vintage clothing, but we're going to do some today. Here's a Noritake hand-painted Easter egg from 1991 in the original packaging. So you get all that, but here's the best part of the slot, or at least to me, this is the best part. Betty Page mugs. So I'm sure a lot of you know who Betty Page is. Some of you may not. But these are Betty Page. Well, if Rosie wants, if Crystal wants to bid on it, then she shouldn't text him. <laughs> then she'll get it cheaper. So this is Betty Page. Black ceramic mugs. Oh, I understand. Well, if one of them is bidding, she may not. I actually like Katie and Vicky very much. But I know Crystal does some stuff for them. I know she also sells vintage clothing. So you get that's three, four, five vintage Betty Page bondage mugs. 11 ounce mugs, C&D Visionary, Betty Page. And then the Noritake egg, all of the Marvel cards in the packages. And everything else on the table for your bid. Are all the mugs the same? Yes. One says mugs. Laura something on it. So Laura. 29 with Kyle Elliott. He might have saw this, the CD Visionary. Sorry about the mic bouncing around. Someone say. So these are five Betty Page bondage mugs. She was a pinup queen back in the 50s. Very famous, kind of like Marilyn Monroe. Five of them, then Glenn Becker. So you get five mugs. You get the Fantastic Four in order. You get 24 packs. 1991 Marvel cards without the original package. Another 24 packs in the original bag. A Noritake Easter egg hand painted. Batman electronic game and a few other things over there. Uh, yes, I think so. Hey, Kenneth, you are able to bid now. 42 with Howard Sicilian. 44, Chris Chatworth. So, it's 40, a nice lot. 46 sand dollar ray. Chris Chatworth at 50.
Let's just show you there's five mugs. We're at 50. 55 is 70 per. We're shot, we're 60, so no, right, 60. 65 is 70, right? Oh, wait, no, it's 85. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at it from the far side. Chris is ahead of me. Yeah. We have Chris in at 60. Sandy Kirk in at 65. Shotworth is out. Got to start putting everything back on the tray. Ninety-two people here. Thank you, everybody. Hold on. We'll be hurt. Hold on. Congratulations. Okay, I don't know what's in these boxes here. Uh, see a Are these the Norman Rock? Norman Rock. These are Norman Rock. Well, Twenty dollars start for these four. So the apprentice by Norman Rockwell. Did you see Paul Sutton? Vintage, I think it's vintage memories. Vintage somebody's. Okay, this is called Waiting on Shore. Oh. And last but not least. Two kids on bicycles, a whole bunch of other bicycles back behind it. Norman Rockwell is called Schools Out. Significant paperwork on the box as well. So you get all four plates, $20 start. Cam wants me to take the shirt off. Cam wants me to 
with an L and an R on it. So. Yeah, but I can't hear you guys. Yes. Talk louder to you. Okay, so we have 25 apparels to say. Can you guys hear me now? Okay, I'm going to just stand in front of the in front of the phone and talk. That way you guys can definitely hear me. I don't know what's going on with the microphone. It's brand new. Beats brand. Yeah, I had them charging for the last hour or so. Um, there we go. Yeah, well, it's because I'm over here now. So now I'm in front of the phone, so obviously you can hear them. So just take those in the office, I guess. Anybody have a recommendation on a good bike? Yeah, just hate wasting a hundred bucks on a headset so that doesn't work after one day. Yeah, I'm in front of the phone, so I'm actually talking into the phone. Plates. Rockwell plates. Okay, you guys should be able to hear me now. I'm changing to the default mic. There you go. Okay, so this lot's going to be from that vintage clothing store that I bought out. It had all the old stuff. These are a pair of shoes. It says Town & Country Shoes. Let's see what the guys that had the store said about them. 1960s, Cody, don't shake the table. 1960s black fail shoes with metal decor. I don't know what fail means, but you are getting a pair of those. Here is a pair of Palazio, yeah, whatever that is. Palazio, Lizio. 1960s black patent leather pumps with cut out. I don't know how right these guys were, but they had their own vintage clothing store, so I would guess that they were relatively right. Oh, these are awesome. Okay, starting bid $25. Sounds good. Here is a pair of Mr. J. Andre. They have like little plastic pieces, cut out leather. There you guys go. 
Looks like we're having issues with our router, probably because it's snowing and they're working on the lines up the road. So I just went onto my phone for only wireless signal right now until they fix what's going on with the router. So these say 1970s blue clear plastic sandals. It says new in box, obviously. I don't have the box for them. Mr. J. Andre. 1960s salmon leather with vinyl insert. That must be like these little things here. Yep, because you can see through them. And these are beauty pageant creations. And there's a pair there. So you get all four pair looking for bids. Cam, you're gonna have to go on your phone and look. It's it's the internet went down. Because I did it on my phone as well. Just go to the internet, like mm -hmm. and type in www.youtube.com. And then you're just gonna search on YouTube. But it's not that's not how you spell YouTube. It's why are you? Make me smack you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, frisky. Hopefully, you guys can hear everything because, like I said, our router just went down, so they're rebuffering the internet. You have to take yourself off of Wi Fi. That's how. That's why. There you go. That way, you're just using the cell signal. I'm going to make this a little smaller so I can read the messages. Okay, we're having here. Okay. One more second, Hi, Jill. So you're going to YouTube.com. You got it. And then just Mr. Byslot, so MR period. And then B-U-Y-S-A-L-O-T. These are vintage 1960s and 70s. Vintage shoes, $20 start for the four pair. Mr. Mueller runs an online store. Why can you not see the chat on yours? I don't understand why you can't see chat on yours. I'm not signed in. I don't have that account. Oh. I think well, that doesn't do us any good. Nope. Okay. Any bids or in or out, guys? Obviously, after today, I guess I'll sign up for one. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a pass. Is it a pass, Mama G? Right, it's the snow and the weather, and Verizon was up working on those lines, so. Okay, size, um, I don't know. Oh, this one says 7AA, so I'm guessing that's the size. This one says a 10AA. This one is an 11AAA, 11 AAA. I'm guessing these are the sizes. Because these guys were pretty meticulous. And this is an 8M. Hmm? 
Mm-hmm. I don't know if he is. He might just be doing pictures. Okay. That's because I'm in front of the phone, Susie. I'm not using the headphones right now. Do you know how to pull it up? I uh, hear hand it down for a second because I'm going to walk into the office. Sorry. Okay, lot passed. Pass that. Okay. This is super cool. Very vintage. So, architect scale. Right here. 10 scales. So these are vintage, like 1950s or early 60s, made in the USA. You have that. You have this tri-square. This is probably 1940s right here. It has the scale at the top. So we have two of the architect scales. Three, four, let's do a $25 start, which is going to be awesome. Six, wait, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the vintage scales. Here's another tri square. Here is a red top. Here's a whole bunch more of the scales. Uh, yes, I'll probably do some. Okay. Another piece there. Black LEDs. So A.W. Faber, this is a store display. Probably 1940s or 30s. $25. For LEDs. Okay. And then you get whatever's in this box. Okay, so this is an original factory case of Sterling. Sterling is the company. Triangle sets, six and eight inch. So these are like for engineering and for math classes and stuff like that. For school stop shop or studios. So you get one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve in that original factory case. And then you have two, I think there's twelve of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you have twelve of those scales. You have the Farber. Display and all of the tri squares. He's just taking pictures of some. No. No, that's not what I need to do. Thirty seven Schreiker. In your phone. Let's see if that's what it is. Seven two six six eight six three. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys bid. We're at forty two. If we hit 50 on this lot, I'll make the lot a little bit bigger and just finish off everything that's in this box. So there's 12 of these architect scales, an original factory sealed box here of the triangle sets, all this extra stuff. If we hit $50, I will add more to it. Strikers at 50. Okay, Sterling triangle set. Here's another sealed or another box of these, so there's a dozen, so you get another dozen. 
of the triangles. These are old store stock, 1940s and 50s. And we have three more of the architect scales. I mean, I'm going to talk to somebody in the end here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have fifty dollars for striker. There are fourteen of the architect scales. There are twenty-four total of the triangles. The old store display and everything else. So it's a huge lot, all vintage, nineteen fifties, sixties. So looking for any advance, you get everything you see. Fifty-five with backpack treasures. Okay, so we have fifty-five with backpack treasures. Breaker was sixty. So it's a great lot of old store stock. So again, there's, I think, 14 of the architect scales, 24 of the triangle sets, Two of the tri squares, a bunch of extra architectural drawing scales, graph pieces. Breaker at 70. And the thin lead display. No, each one of those scales is like these are 1963, they're dated right on them. 1963. Each one of those is probably. Mm -hmm. No, Kathy, you haven't bought anything yet today. Not yet, Kathy. Do you have one of those things? Yeah. Cody, go in that box right there. And there's some self. Kathy, we're going to put something up next that I think you might be interested in. There's some. Paintings in the top there, just grab a couple of them. Yep, spring two. Okay, where are we at? Going twice. And you got this, Pam? Yep. Pam's going to take over for a second, guys. Going once. Going twice. Uh, 
The high bid is 75 with backpack treasures. I'm glad you made some more room, Kathy. Anybody else want to bid? <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Sold, sold, sold. 75 to backpack treasures. I think Brian said he has some coins that he's going to do today. He uh, He's actually on the phone with RCN right now trying to figure out what's going on. So the next lot up is... This is a, a painting. It's actually hand-painted on silk. And I'm thinking that this might be a signature here. I don't see this all the time, so I'm not super used to this. I'm just guessing. We'll do starting bed at 30. Kathy's in at 30. And we'll put two of them together. We have a second one also. This is also hand painted on silk. And I think there is a signature, if you can see right here, by the artist. Okay, and we're going to get you a measurement on a size on them. These are larger than normal, Brian's telling me. Um, 18 by 15 is the woman. I'm thinking the other one's pretty much the same. Yep, 18 by 15, they both are. Brian says this is larger than normal that he normally sees. We have KKN at 30. Okay. And they're done on like the thin silk. This is the signature here. And this is the signature on this one. Those are the characters for the signature of the geisha 
she's beautiful. And then you have the pagoda and Mount Fuji in the background. And at one point they were probably framed because I can see the tiny little holes right there at the top. And 35 a striker. And the, the geisha. Kathy's corner at 50. Striker at 55. She's beautiful. I'll get her close so you guys can see the detail and everything. Kathy's corner at 60. Suzanne's Chronicles at 70. Like I said, if anybody can read Japanese or Chinese writing. Kathy at 90. And you can attribute them to the correct artist. These could be really, really good. This one here. Kathy at 90. Going once. Going twice. Hello, Brenda Miller. If you're new with us, please just make sure that you email me for registration with your real name, your YouTube name, your mailing address, and the email address you would like invoices sent to you from PayPal for. We invoice the day after the auction generally. Treasure Hi, Dom. Sell it, sell it, Kathy Sam. <laughs> Going twice. Sold for ninety dollars to Kathy's corner. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy, if you hang out, I think we have two more. I believe we have two more of these. So we can find the so you can find the rest of yours. Oh, you have three. She has three more. We have another group somewhere. I just don't know where they're at. So here they are. This is a group of three. Let's uh let's start the bidding at twenty dollars. And I'll see if I can find the rest of them for this weekend. This one has a tiny stain up on Mount Fuji right there. Here are the signature right there. Oh, I keep hitting the thing. There we go. So this one is a lot of three. This one's got a lot of paint on it. And here is the artist signature right there. You can see it's got gold paint. That one's definitely a lot earlier. And then last, you have this other geisha. She's very, very well done. And here is her signature. And then it's also stamped, probably like an imperial stamp or a taxing stamp, something like that. So you have all three in this lot. We have KK. KK at 100. Ninety that I sold for. So this is a lot of three this time, and they are all marked, signed. They're gorgeous.
I see the back of the painting. Which one? Here's the back of this one. They're done on silk. You can see they were probably mounted at some point. Here's the back of this one. Here's the signature and that, and here is the back of the Geisha girl. All are very well done. Like I said, I would believe that it's silk. <laughs> no one wants the KK for a hundred. <laughs> so we're at a hundred dollars for the three. Looking for any advance? Looking for one ten. Going twice. <laughs> Going twice to KK. $100 for all three paintings. We have 102 in here. Thank you guys for being here. Yep, I'll do a, uh, I have a really good poster a lot. We'll put up next. Kathy, anyone else? <laughs> And I will see if I can find the others for this weekend. I'll find them. Pam said she'll make sure that she finds them. That's an awesome one. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sold the Kathy's Corner for 100. <laughs> Congratulations, Kathy. I knew you were looking for these, and when we found them, I was like, I have to make sure that she's there. Go ahead, Mama G. You can restart. We did so the same thing. Marilyn Delgado, are you here? I know you were interested in something that we have coming up. Okay, here's an awesome, 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 awesome lot of vintage glass. Glass one of the porcelain lots. Okay, so you get some kind of base for a, like, so I would say this is a sewing basket, but I don't really know. A couple of different colors. Which? Marilyn Delgado's here. Um, swamp Picker. Though. Swamp Picker, look down at the, oh, for him. I think he's asking if he has, if I've got his email for her. Swamp, I think you're already wrenched, to be honest. Yeah, you're wrenched. You can bid. I know who you are. I know where you live. Okay. Marilyn, the next lot is something you might be interested in. Yep, next lot up will be something that I know Marilyn likes because when she was here, she expressed interest when she picked up her last load of stuff. So this is Lady from Lady and the Tramp. There is a little chip on the ear. Then these are like a nice funky like 50s or 60s by Mayer. So Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania, they're like restaurant wear in a starburst pattern. So very cool. We've got two, three, four coffee cups and four saucers. So these are like restaurant wear china by Mayer. And a cool starburst pattern. There is a bowl right here. And then the last item in this lot, four cups, four saucers, the bowl. And this says USA, California. So this is California Originals. So it just says C-A-L-I-F. And this is a giant, almost looks like a big leaf. 
And here's the lid for the little dip end of it. Goes Small right picker, there. His email is down at the bottom. Yep, down at the bottom, Mr. Bizelot795 at gmail.com. Oh, yep, just send me a picture. Or send it on Instagram, whatever works best for you. We're Mr. Bizelot everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to get a 25 for this spot. Yep, $25. Looking for a bid. Again, this is awesome. The California Originals piece. All the Starburst Atomic restaurant wear. And the cute little sewing basket. And Kathy, you may also like the next lot as well. Marilyn Delgado at 25 No. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's okay. so there we go. Maryland's at twenty five. Marilyn Delgado in at $25. Again, this has a lid. It's like a tip tray, and you can see this is California Originals. Pretty awesome. And the little handle is a raised leaf. So looking for any advance on $25 for everything that you see on the table. I see you, Mama G. So we're at $25 for any advance. Too bad we missed in Tamara today. Sold to Marilyn Delgado for 25 Nice buy, Marilyn. Very nice buy. Okay. okay. Let's do another vintage lost glass here. This is going to be a $40 start. KK, I know you like this stuff. Marilyn, I know you like it as well. I'm sure there's a bunch of other people that really like this stuff. So this is art glass. This one is pretty heavy, well made. You can see it's glass. I couldn't find a signature on it anywhere, but it is awesome. It's a fantastic piece of art glass. And then there are these four fish. These are almost like the Italian, like Murano glass or Blinko. But I couldn't find any markings on them either. They're pinch formed. They're hollow, hollow inside, marbleized, almost like end of days kind of. But they're like Murano, like Italian Murano glass. So you get that fish. This fish. Marilyn Delgado at 60. You can see they're form decorated right there. Got the fins, they're beautiful. You have this one. I figured Kathy would be in on these. She likes the odd stuff that's really cool. 
This one's a little bit larger, a little fatter of a fish, has the applied glass eyes, fins. These came out of that house that we bought, uh, that we have the video of. And then here's the largest one. This one's giant. But art glass. This just reminds me of Murano. And I'll give you guys some sizes. There you go. You can kind of see everything. This one is 18 inches long. Marilyn at 125. This one is 20 in, or 12 inches long. 12 inches. This one's 10 inches. And then the candy dish is right at 10 inches. This one's probably more crystal or like um, would have probably been signed or etched signature somewhere on this thing. But I couldn't find anything. But, but it's it's nice and heavy, leaded, uh, leaded crystal. And then the others are blown Italian art glass. Nancy got 135. So these are awesome. Wow. Marilyn Delgado at 145. Marilyn, Marilyn had an advantage. She saw these in person. But I had put them in a video so we don't play favorites. I know you guys saw them in the video, so we brought them to auction. So everybody can play fair. I have no idea if this lost a whole lot. These are really exceptionally made. These are vintage. You can tell by the way that they're formed. The blown glass is really nice. And the fact that they're hollow inside and not solid body is harder for them to do. And you can see like the air bubbles in the glass. Marilyn's in at 180. So these are awesome. I don't know that right. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great lot. It's probably the, one of my favorite things out of that house. Yeah, Cody, lady. on my desk, there's like almost like a shoebox, but it's brown. Can you bring that out? That has coins in it. Yep, yeah, we'll do clusters next, and then I'll do a lot of coins. We got a signature on the upper tail set. 200, Marilyn. Delgado. On which one? This one? I don't think so. I think it's just part of the design. See? See, I think it's just part of the design. These are like pinch decorated there. I, I just love this one because it's huge. I'd be happy even if I went fishing and caught this. Yeah. These are great. Sold, sold, sold to Marilyn Delgado for 200 Congratulations, Marilyn. That just made her day. She's really happy now. She wanted this when she was here. I'll see if I can find some more for this weekend. Okay. Okay, let's do. Where's the poster box? Okay, right next to your leg. Okay, even though we're missing our poster guy, Paul Suckling. Okay, so this is a giant box. You guys saw I bought a bunch of posters inside. These are all movie posters, all rolled. Um, so that means they're probably 90s, 2000s. For the majority, I looked at maybe about 10 of them, and then I just got tired of unrolling them. So I decided to sell the whole box. There's probably 70 
somewhere in that neighborhood of rolled posters in there. Yep. Oh, okay. So we're going to do, it's pretty heavy. Uh, so we're going to do a $25 start. They are all movie posters. But it's a nice group. Um, the ones I opened, there was like Russell Crowe. I saw Air up there. Um, That's a mystery box. Yeah, kind of like a mystery box. It would just take, it would take an hour plus just to unroll all of them and show them to you. But I wanted to see if this was the better way for me to sell these or if it's better for me to unroll them and, and put them in a nice square box. $50 a striker. So. So, a lot of posters. 55 of course, Chatworth. Like I said, there's probably 70-ish posters in there, because inside of each roll is, you know, this one has, I think, four posters in this little roll right here. Do you do a striker? Any idea of the viewers? Um, I would say they're 90s into 2000s, because Air Up There was, I think, a 90s movie. I saw that one. Um, first Chatworth, the Honda. A ton of actors that I know that I knew who they were. There was like Owen, what's his name? Owen Wilson. He was in one of them. There was I Spy, so I think that's an early two thousands movie. Like we're at one twenty, but it's we, a bunch. We will have some unrolled for this weekend, but we're doing some mystery lots too. Right. There's a box that I have over there that are rolled that said miscellaneous, and I looked at two of them, and one was a Who poster. The other one was Kiss, and I think the third, actually, I'd opened three. And the other one had like marijuana leaves on it or something like that. Jonathan Alfaro at 140. So, this is a lot of posters, though. It's heavy. And subscribers at 150. And a lot of them are a poster inside of a poster inside of a poster inside of a poster. Someday we'll have posters for sure because my husband's going to unroll them for us. <laughs> <laughs> we can have Cody unroll too. He just has to reverse roll them. Yeah. That way they'll stay open. Yeah, most of the time rolled posters are generally newer than like mid-80s and newer. Folded posters are older than that. Die in at 160. So... <laughs> Let's see three... So there's probably 70 to 75 posters in here. Diet 160. Kenneth Rossenberry at 170. Diet 180. Had to get in position. <laughs> you like that too much. That's the problem. <laughs> Sky at 180. <laughs> I said, do you get information to Gmail? Do you have a Gmail? Yeah, my Gmail. My Mr. Bizelot795 at Gmail. Dia 200. Uh oh. Shelly. Kenneth at 210. I have M. Zuckman. Hoover's, you need to have, did you send an email to Mr. Bizelot795 at gmail.com? Crispy's here. Hi, Crispy. 
240 with Sky. There we go. I did not see his. Hoover's, did you send it today? Trust me, we didn't unroll them. It's a mystery lot. Yep, I didn't unroll them. It was just too many. Yes, that's a second day. Okay. I have Josh, YouTube Josh, Joshua Bradley, Kyle. Still hasn't came through yet. Can you just confirm that you did not put any periods or spaces? I have not received. He's into early 2000s, Crispy. It's about 70 or so posters, 75 posters. This was out of that big lot that was at the front door, so I just didn't take the time to really go through it and figured I would see how they did putting them up like this. And to whoever I offended earlier with my comment about touching things, I apologize that I offended you. It is not meant that way, but unfortunately, we make jokes all the time. Some people will find them funny, some will not. And if you don't, I truly do apologize. There's no harm meant for it, but we do not couple what we talk about or what we say on this channel. It's just not who I am, and that's why I run the business this way. Uh, it's, it wasn't anything bad. It's just... Yeah, I, jo I was joking about Pat. And somebody found it offensive. And I'm not going to copple what I say. It's just not going to happen. Happy uh, 290 with Sky. Excellent. He said to get all the blood out of my. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Matt. Uh, hey Matt. <laughs> Some of his jokes are funny. <laughs> Look, most of my jokes are not funny. That's why everybody laughs at them because they're not funny. You have to know Brian always means well. I don't get offended, and I'm a girl, so. Nineties movies? Question marks? Question marks? Yes, nineties into early two thousands. He said the one I remember most is Air Up There. Uh, New York Nights, I think, was one of them. There was a Russell Crowe movie. And a few others. All right, anybody else? Yep, the folded ones are generally 60s, 70s into the early 80s. And then they started doing like the double sided and rolled posters and stuff like that after that. Brian, I'm going to get you a microphone for Christmas. Thank you, Christmy. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a Beats one that 
two days ago, brand new from oh, Verizon. God. Look, Denise. They're the ones who told me to buy it. Sounds like you're in a tunnel. I'm turned away from the the camera because I'm trying to read the comments on the other computer. Okay. Yep. Yeah, they started rolling the mid '80s, and then it became normal practice in the early '90s. Before that, most everything was folded. Harry, you did have a headset on. It wasn't working. Yeah, we were having issues with it. So what? We sold. Going twice. Lauren in a tunnel and Sam is echoing. <laughs> okay, great. We're just having a lot of technical difficulties with the weather today. And it's snowing. Sold, sold, sold. Sold. There we go. Some coins or something along those lines. I don't know what's in this bag, so we're going to do whatever's in this bag. You want me to make you bucks? Yeah, I just need a tray or something. Yeah, something small. So, I don't know what's in here, but we're going to do whatever's in here. Okay. So, here is a little velvet box. Yeah, go ahead and rinse them for now. I'll I'll look again in just a second after I'm done pulling this out because I want to see if this is marked silver. Silver is okay. bed. So this is an Olympic coin of some sort. It says United States one dollar. In nineteen eighty four Olympics. I don't see silver markings on it, but there's obviously there's no zinc or copper in it. So I don't know if that's a silver or not. So there's that. There's we'll make it rain up in here. So this is Guatemala. Let's see with Sandy Kirk. Guatemala dollars, Banco Guatemala twenty dollars, more twenty dollars, another dollar, um, whatever these are. Di Gratia Regina Elizabeth. They are one Bermuda crown. Whenever the guy bought them in nineteen sixty four, I guess he paid a paid four dollars and ninety five cents. It says point five zero zero F silver. So does that mean it's 500% fine silver? I don't know. There's three of them in here. There's a Lincoln cent from a 1909 VDB. This guy collected coins. A Buffalo nickel from 1936. A sixpence piece from 1917 or 1911. Australia sixpence, 925. So that'd be like sterling silver. Steel war pennies, 1937 buffalo nickel, steel war penny, another steel war penny, 1943 wheat pennies, 1937 buffalo nickel, a 1904 liberty, I believe these are called V nickels as well, 1904. Here's some um, Canadian 1968 quarters. I don't know what this one is. Can't tell if that's 1917 or 1817. Kathy's corner with 90. 1817 British something something. That one looks like another Canadian. Here's a tiny little. Holy moly, tiny. It's 
So 20 cent piece, 1850. I think that's what that says. Um, but I thought it's I thought VDB means the met mark, isn't it? Isn't that what that means? Um, I don't know. Where do I find a mint mark at? Do I got to take it out of this little plastic thingy? And this one here says large letters, round bust, 1837. Large letters, round bust, 1837. The uh, okay, let's take it out of the thing. Watch, this is probably some like extremely rare coin, and this guy got it for super cheap. <laughs> I do not see any letters under the under the date. There you wow. go. No letters under the date. <laughs> I like big bust and I cannot lie. But wait. Wait, where are we at? How much are we at? Don't take it out. Sorry. <laughs> Too late. No, I put I put it back. What are we at? How much? Did we hit a hundred dollars? We haven't hit a hundred dollars yet. No. Oh, then I can't add more to it yet. Once we hit a hundred dollars, I'm gonna start adding stuff. He thinks that is a Philly mint coin. Eighty second anniversary convention, the American Numismatics Association. Evil Lenny at a hundred. So then we're gonna add this. Welcome to Boston, 1973, one ounce, nine point, not point nine 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 fine silver. So silver bar, one ounce silver bar. Kathy's corner at 120. What's this roll of stuff here? Okay, let's see what this roll of stuff is. Let's add one of these. Sandy, we're at 120 already. So we're going to add one of these because we're at 120. This is a $1 piece. 130 with Sandy. It's pretty rough, though. 1921, $1 piece. Here's a half dollar. We're gonna add that to it. These should be silver. So before 1964, this is 1918. Walking Liberty half dollar. There's early dollar. There's a one ounce silver piece. At 140. 150 with Sandy Kerr. I should probably just keep this coins, right? Not put jewelry in it? Yeah. Okay, we won't put jewelry in it. We'll jewelry Kathy's corner at 170. Well, I have a tea and company 925 sterling necklace. <laughs> it's pretty. I don't know stuff. <laughs> hey, Brian. Evil Lenny at 180. <laughs> and I don't know what this is, guys. I'm going to add it to the lot because it was in with the coins. And I'm sure somebody out there has some clue what this is. It looks like a piece of stone to me, like a piece of shale. But I know like super early coins. Kathy said, put it in, Brian. We're actually like this. So. Necklace. <laughs> I don't don't quite know what this is, but it was in with the coins, so I'll show that to you. <laughs> you just wanted to confirm. Kathy's corner at two hundred. <laughs> Not late. Later, we'll we'll add more stuff. We can we can sell more coins. 
See, we got rolls of coins. Not yet, KK. No necklace this time. Not no necklace yet. What's the mint though? What are we at? Are we at a number that I can add more stuff? We're at 200. Okay, we're at 200. I don't know what this is. You guys can look it up and figure out if it's silver or not. Lady Diana Spencer, 1981. Wedding commemorative crown. HRH, Prince of Wales. That stone thing is shaped kind of like a guitar effect. Yes, it is. 220 with Kathy's Corner. So I don't know what that is, but we're going to add that in there. And that's it for this lot. I'm not going to keep adding to that lot. <laughs> I should just do one big lot and sell all the silver at one time. <laughs> well, there's what, like 20 silver dollars there? Yeah. Five ounce silver piece. 220 with KK. My favorite. <laughs> we can't afford that. Only oh, KK. <laughs> Break up the silver into lots. <laughs> Can you show the paper notes to people when he's asking? Yeah, they're Ban Banco de Guatemala. And they have a cool see through like piece on them. It's kind of neat. So they're $1 one, another dollar one, another dollar one. And then these two are higher denominations. These are $20. 20 Quinzalas. They got a cool looking bird on them. Okay, you only bowed out to KK. So, 220 with KK. Going once. Going twice. Sold the KK. <laughs> sold, sold, sold. KK for 220. Sold the KK for 220. Okay, let's do. Here, you can give them that with it. Yeah. That's on. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, here's that necklace that was in the box. There's two necklaces. Well, it's hard to read them, but they say 925, so they're silver. They're pretty. They got like little diamond type chips or diamond chunks and um tea and company does that mean tea from auctions for you let's see what this thing says i don't know i mean if this is silver let's go with 25 dollars start maybe I'm trying to get it to focus guys sorry We have a magnifying glass over here. A loop. A loop. Sure. Kathy's in a 30. Okay, here. There you guys go. Tiffany and Co. I think that's what it says. Yes. Yes, Mama G. There's what it says in the little loopy thingy. Wait, 
police and an authority. And then it's also marked 925, right? There. And here I'll show you guys maybe using the loop on one of these things for help. 95. There you go. Southeast corner of 70. T and Company, T and Co, 925. Each one of the little circle things is marked 925. <laughs> All I know is they're open settings, so the light goes to the back of them. Because I had too much to drink, Harry Humpson. KKF 70, Dublin, Oops, uh, under it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Evelina Flips? Yes. Kathy's Corner 150. So T and Company, T and Co. Probably a good thing T's not here. She'll probably be yelling at me. Why are you selling that today? Because <laughs> it was in the box. It was in the box of silver coins. Kathy. Kathy Bauer. Oh, this one's even better marked. I think. Two hundred Chris Chatworth. Two twenty five Kathy. Kathy's corners out. Kathy Bauer, two twenty five. And there's the little round thing that was marked with the nine two five and the the Tiffany and Co. Just glad my wife didn't see this. That's how stuff disappears from this place when my wife sees it. For me. For you, yeah. <laughs> I did not steal it. It's cool they marked every one of them, though. And each one of them has like openings on the sides to let more light in. I don't think, and this is just my opinion, I don't think they would put real diamonds in sterling, but I can't honestly say I've ever shopped at Tiffany, so. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do some more coins. Kathy Bauer, two fifty. I'll do the coins in that. <laughs> this is a Pam charity item. This is to help help the Pam fund for helping me. <laughs> Whatever this brings is going to go to Pam. <laughs> Very nice of Brian. He's a sweet guy. She's useful most of the time. No one wants the Kathy <laughs> Bauer, 250. Oh, yeah, he did so. Going twice. Just don't know anything about this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. Guess it's a good thing I didn't bring this to the scrap silver guy, huh? Yeah. Kathy, it's 275. <laughs> Bonus for Pam, yay. Thanks, Dean. <laughs> Kathy, it's 275. Jeez, at this, at this price, I don't even want to touch it no more. <laughs> I'm putting it in this baggie, guys, because I don't want to touch it no more. You guys are been way above the scrap value of silver. Kathy, I see 75. Kathy Bauer. Well, like I told you guys, we find it in an estate. It comes out of an estate sale. We're going to get to a point where we're just selling it to you. 
it's going to be brought here to the auction and be done with it. Thank you, Kathy. Nice move for action, Brian. Yay, did it right. Only left for the seal tip in the boxes as well. I'm okay. Okay, I win. <laughs> 280. Javelina flips. <laughs> 300, Kathy Bauer. Oh. Ooh, got a battle. <laughs> I heard silver hit the table. <laughs> you watch, one of, the, one of them's gonna message me, they're gonna be like, yes, they actually put real diamonds in silver. I'm gonna be like, oh. <laughs> Brian's gonna cry then. Nah, whatever. Who cares? Hi, big Kathy Bauer, two seventy five. I paid a grand for the box with all the coins and the, the jewelry in it. So, okay. Top five, you need to register with us. Yeah, you need to be registered here to bid. You just have to have a wrench. Make sure you email me unless Mama G knows who you are. Yep. So we still have Kathy in as the high bid. Kathy at 325. It should actually be before top five. And so he's registered. Wow. Kathy, you're still at 275. So you must be registered to bid, guys. The yellow scrolling bar at the bottom tells you how to register. It's just so we don't have people bidding other people up that we cannot send invoices to. <laughs> yep. We definitely want everybody to be fair. Okay, anybody else? 75 with Kathy. I'm going to check. Cha, did you send it? Uh, a registration. Sam has got her hand. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Pam can show it to you. And put it around Pam's neck. <laughs> okay, I have M. Hoove. So the Melissa Hoover. So the Hoover's Corgis and Coins, yeah. I have them. I like them. BGZ. <laughs> Bonnie, I have Bonnie here. Going once. Javelina <laughs> flips, Danny, 300.
Mm-hmm. Says I'm on. Can you guys hear me? Hello, hello, hello. This long. <laughs> Can you guys not hear me? Now, here you just fine. Now, now, now. Okay. okay. He's at four hundred. Four twenty-five with Kathy Bauer. <laughs> if they all hear you. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't facing the phone when I was talking. Wow, nice bonus. Yep, this is what she gets for Christmas. I work hard for my money. <laughs> In that outfit I gave you. <laughs> my little elf. Hint, hint. <laughs> like Brandon Fraser elf, you know. Hubba hubba. Fuck out loud. <laughs> I'm supposed to feed my doggies. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty. But I'm, more of a, I'm more of a gold guy myself. Pam got booty shorts yesterday. <laughs> Time and Wes. <laughs> no, no, no. Pam does not wear booty shorts. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> there was a time. Going twice. <laughs> Back in those days, you could actually see the shorts. <laughs> sold, sold, sold to Kathy Bauer for four twenty-five. Thank you, Kathy. Pam said, "Thank you." And I thank you because I was just going to send this over to my scrap guy. If I didn't sell this stuff this weekend, all the coins and everything were going to the scrap guy. That helps pay for Cody's MacBook Pro that he has to get for college. Okay, so we'll be telling me to do. It's all I might do more coins. Okay. Okay, what the heck? Why not? After that, Thomas, this might be your last show. <laughs> <laughs> Pam loves me, no matter what I say. 1892, AG, I don't know what that was. It was a quarter, maybe? Yeah, <laughs> quarter dollar. Here's a mercury dime, 1935. Here's a silver dime. It says rare. Barber dime, 1897. Uh, what's it say? Good for books. This is scratched. So whenever he bought it from whatever store he bought it from, said this is scratched. Rock, 1939. Rock band posters tomorrow. Rock band posters tomorrow. 1935. These are all silver. It's another barber dime from 1900. Here's a 1906. Do you need, you need Cody for something? Pam's been around me so long, she pretty much helped raise Cody. 1939 Mercury Dime. Is it good? She's, she's been able to put up with me for, for 15 years. 1911 Barber Dime. Well, he'll be 18, so 15 or 16 years. 1910 Barber Dime. This one's got a big old scratch across the front of it. God bless her. <laughs> 1892 Barber Dime, silver, rare. He's going to miss me when he's gone. 1914 Barber Dime. 1900 Barber Dime, or 1904 Barber Dime. So what's that? Thank you, Diamond West. 
<laughs> and you're leaving her doing that. <laughs> Yep, I'm going to have to find a new Mr. Buys a lot to go work for. <laughs> okay, so there's all of that. Let's see what else we got in the little sleeveys here. There's a 1943 quarter. So these two are quarters. It's a 1932 quarter. Whatever you guys want to start it at, go ahead. 47 with Lone Star Picker. 1853, whatever this is. A quarter. Looks like a quarter. Oop. Surprised that didn't go everywhere. 1853. An 1876 S seated half something 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 something. Large S type one. Whatever that says. You didn't reseller at 75. So what's that? You got 10 dimes, like barber dimes and mercury dimes. 12. You got 12 barber dimes and mercury dimes. You got four quarters, and you get this half dollar thing. Here is a 1964 Franklin Roosevelt dime. A 1937 half dollar. A 1942 wartime half dollar. A 1940 half dollar. These are all silver. A 1942, another 1942 half dollar. Breaker at 80. Bless you. You can resell at 85. You guys might get lucky. Kathy's not here, I don't think. Okay. Okay. Right for 100. Okay, we hit 100. Let's add another silver one-ounce bar. This one says George Gershwin. Our greatest Americans. One troy ounce of 999. Hamilton Mint. George Gershwin. Gershwin. One tiny evil Lenny. One twenty lone star picker. I can zoom my phone in while I'm showing. People that use that 120 with Lone Star Picker. 130 with Striker. So everything is silver. 1876 S seated half dollar. Frank Perez at 150. And then George Gershwin, Gerwin. Silver bar. Coins, coins, coins. How about another 1934 half dollar and a 1936 half dollar? We'll add that to it. What, Kathy? I thought you were gone, Kathy. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm making it rain change up in here. It's all silver. The 1963 quarter. The 1942 quarter. Striker at 160. 1937 dime. 1962 quarter. 1957 quarter. Nope, in here waiting. <laughs> I knew you were there. I told him you were. <laughs> Lurking. Trying to put all the dimes up there. These are half dollars on this side. These are quarters. And here's a silver bar. There we go. Well, we'll launch the striker at 160. <laughs> it wouldn't matter now after I've handled all the stuff. Frank Perez at 170. Striker at 180. Kathy's corner at 190. 190 with Kathy's corner. I'm looking down here in this bag of stuff. Striker at 200. Should I just do it? No. There's a rough one. I don't know what year that is. Okay. Just getting ready the next slot. Just relax. <laughs> These are really nice. Oh. Frank at 220. Oh, Frank Perez. I got the next lot ready. I got to keep some of it for this weekend for the marathon. I'll do the rest of the miscellaneous coins and then I'll keep the five ounce and the other couple one ounces and all the silver dollars in that for this weekend. Sold the Frank Perez for two twenty. Congratulations, Frank. Okay, so this will be the next lot. I'll do this as one lot here. I'll show you guys what you're getting in just a second. And I will add one more piece to that lot, and that'll be it for the silver for today. Because I want to keep some for this weekend. Okay, so in this lot, there is a 2009 Walking Liberty, one ounce five, or one ounce fine silver, one dollar, 
round. There's a 1900 whatever that would be called. I think it's a half dollar, right? Yeah, half dollar. There's a quarter from 1952. A 1908 quarter. These are actually really nice. 1924. These are $1. Actually, in really nice shape. You can see the lines in our hair and everything. 1924. This one's awesome. Like this probably should be in a holder. The corner at 1925. See, look, we don't hold anything back from you guys. Whatever we get, we sell it. Corner at and then these are all dimes. I'll put all the mercuries in my hand first. Do you guys need to know the years in the Mercury Dimes or just how many? Okay, these are all Mercury Dimes. Right here. 12, 15, 16 of them. Or is it okay if I just put them down as 16 times? Sixteen Mercury dimes. Everything is before nineteen sixty. It's nineteen sixty four and older. There's one nineteen sixty four. The rest of them are older than that. There are seven. Nine. Two of the little tiny, like really early ones. Nineteen fourteen and nineteen oh three or nineteen oh eight. And then this is Canadian, I think. Elizabeth something. Canadian with Evil Lenny. Kathy's Corner at 200. Your hey, Mama G, your lot went out and we added some stuff to it. Yep. Your lot went out to the grandkids and your lot went out to you. Lenny out. KK at 200. She said, Barber dimes are cool. Yeah. Nice little lot. Like I said, I think these are really nice. Only one's the KK. 1924, 1925. Bye. Okay. Sure. Um, I was going to do that paper there in, inside that box because I don't know what it is. I'd like to see what I bought. Okay, here's Kathy's. Yeah. Okay, so there's a bunch of miscellaneous paper in this box. Fiber screen sample. I don't know what that means. Gold at all. It looks silver to me. 
Santa. Old photo. In house furnishings. Hi, Kathy. Old photo. Antigua from um, 1915, whatever this is for, Fraternal Order of the Eagle. M.S. Young, this is from the turn of the century era. Okay, this is from Triangle Film Corporation. They were a movie um, distributor back in silent film era. So this is from 1916. Triangle Film Corporation, this is from 1916 as well. It was rental for something for the Palace Theater in Antigua, Wisconsin. Palace Theater in Antigua, Wisconsin, 1917. Eddie Sachs, Banquets, Parties, Honky Tonk Music by Charlie Young. Every Tuesday, Old Time Silent Movies, Slapstick Comedy, Dixieland Band, Music for the original. I guess these would be for the original, like, you know, karaoke. Um, here is a glass negative of... I can't read this. Let's see what you guys make out of it. Peter's Dam, maybe? Oh, Monocacy Peter's Dam is what I think it says. It's Monocacy Creek is here. And it's a picture of like an old farmhouse. It's an old glass negative. Another film thing. $10 start, guys. This is 1910. Extra rental. 23rd and 24th for Universal's Tom's Cabin, or Uncle Tom's Cabin. So when you wanted to rent that movie. Okay, whatever. Okay, $10. 1913. Those are for film. Palace Theater in Wisconsin. Antigua Water Department for 1916. There's Easton, Pennsylvania. See the back. This is a newer made thing. 1883 City Department. 1871 Directory Central Building. This is probably 1920s or 1930s. It might be that old. I mean, it could be 1800s. It's in a plastic sleeve, so it's hard to tell. But Central Express. Here's a whole bunch more of the silent film era. Letterhead, Billhead. Film rentals. For 12 Steps, from 1910, 13 posters for $1.95 for rental, 1910. So these are silent film era. Soft Carbons would have been for the, for the viewer. Film rental, 12 and 12 posters at 15 cents each, 1910. Wish I could have got silent film era movie posters. I'll only have in the First My 25. graduate, Arabia, Italian K, I think is the name of the movie. That's 1910. There's another rental for 1910. These are from the Western Film Exchange. So very cool. Early silver, uh, early silent film era. Letterhead. Here's 1910 film rentals from Western Film Exchange. Another little stack of them. You don't find early silent film era stuff that often. I happen to have a really large archive that I bought from this, this theater. Last six posters, lots of handwritten info. 1910. So Western Film Exchange. This is where like movie theaters would rent the, rent the movies. Back then, Hellship Bronson. This is from 1928. Hellship Bronson, November 25th. Well, I'll it 35. Code of Range, 1422. Old. Oh, this is probably the movie. This is the name of the movie. Home of Butterfly Present Arms and Millionaire. Look, it was ten dollars to rent the movie. In 1928. Any more Easton? Um, I have a huge collection of Easton that I may wind up doing. I bought Ray Holland's archive. 
Uh, he was the founder of Holiday Hair and also the chairman of the board for Allentown Historical Museum. So at one time I had about 25,000 pieces from his collection, but I've sold some over the years. Calendar year 1920, partnership and personal service for H.E. Hansen, who owned, he owned two different theaters, but there's a contract. Tropical Eastman's One Dozen Solio Paper. So photos. So, Oh, these are awesome. Look, North 7th Street in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Look at this. These are turn of the century. They're the Schlitz beer from, from 1907. This looks like probably a parade or something going on. I see a bunch of people on a blurred out truck. That's awesome. There's a sweeper on the side of the street. Yeah, these are really early. Over time, they haven't been stored properly, so they, they get this, like, fading area. Mm -hmm. That's but awesome. Though. This one's really cool. It's got, like, an advertising sign you can see right there on the side. And then you see, like, stagecoach. Coaches and, like, horse and buggies. 1907 is what the... Wait, it says... Photos of North 7th Street in Allentown. 11 prints. These are turn of the century-ish. Yeah. On the back it says 1909, emulsion, 1914. So there's North 7th Street in Allentown. Here's the buggy okay. on the street. Yeah, these are cool. These had to come from Ray Holland's. The city looked like back then. That's awesome. And there's the envelope. Yeah, I don't look at it. I just sell it. Well, that was the one to me. What the heck? <laughs> They're not of your house. I know, but I like one now and then. There's some little springs inside of this. I don't know if they're for. Weebler Beer and Hill, Easton, Pennsylvania. I bet a Kyle Elliott at 44. Some, new, some newer New York Yankees like paper stuff. Look, I just mix it up. Looking back, 2005, New York Yankees. So you get a bunch of turn of the century silent film era stuff. Then you get some really good Allentown photos. And then you get some, some uh, <laughs> other items. Yeah. Here's a Bobby Hull. Signature. Here's um, a paper. Uh, C CFO, CEO, COA, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I get them all confused. All those letters. Here's American Express from 1910s. Oh, famous oh, yeah, players. Correction note from 1918. American Express. There's like a whole contract for the Palace Theater. Yeah, look, 55. And then here's a whole bunch of receipts for the poster exchange where they were paying the poster exchange through American Express in 1918, 1914. 19. I like 60. These are all the different places they were paying. There's probably 40 or 50. So very cool. The American Railway Press Company. So that's, let's see if I can do it. 1919. American Railway Express Company. And there's probably, like I said, there's probably 50 of these here. Oh, look at the back. These are very cool. Telegraph. 
film and posters, famous players, silent pictures, film. And I'm flipping stacks. stacks. Ten bucks a piece is a great deal. Nineteen eighteen. The stack is. It's all silent film. Uh, so you get all that stuff, all the vintage Allentown photos, sell the Pam, and a Bobby Hole autograph picture thing. And here, this is kind of, so we're going to put it in there. This is Victorian. Really, really uh, intricate. I like 70. I bet Go at seventy five. It's a nice little lot to end up on tonight. We have our uh, vintage clothing tomorrow. A really nice lot of silver plate. A few more miscellaneous lots, and then we're going to start getting into this giant area that I have up here. We have a bunch more art glass and carnival glass type stuff to get through. Love that movie, Mama G. And then toys and everything else. That's the one where she's like a figure skater and he was an ice skater and then he's got to become a figure skater and then they fall in love. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie show. <laughs> Kyle Elliott and <at> 90. <laughs> like Pam. I know. That's a good movie. That one house almost looks like your house. That's not Bobby Hall working. Just, it's just a written cut. But... If we have some, sure. I might do a nice casino lot tomorrow, Crispy. A bunch of casino chips from the 1930s. of them or something. Oh, <laughs> 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 Again, thank you everybody for being here today. It is helping us clear out some space in the front of the warehouse. And you guys made Pam's day. Her doggies are going to love it. And somebody's shooting us with fireworks. Going <laughs> twice. Sold, sold, sold. Kyle Elliott. Kyle Elliott. Sold, sold, sold. Thanks, Cody. So thank you, everyone. We will see everybody tomorrow. We will be here from 1 until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Mr. Bizelot. And then don't forget this week.
today from 12 until 6 p.m. We will be on auctions for you. The word auctions, the number four, the letter U. We will be on their channel selling our goods. She's going to come out here and auction for us here. And then on Sunday from 12 until 6, we will be here at Mr. Bizelot's warehouse selling cool stuff. And we will do coins this weekend. I have a bunch of 1940s movie posters. Uh, we're going to do some big baseball card lots, some sports cards, and other items, toys, whatever I can get to. And we're going to do all the concert t-shirts. All the vintage concert t-shirts are going to be coming up this weekend. So lots of awesome, amazing stuff. So make sure that you're there. And we, again, appreciate everybody. Make sure to share us to your friends. The bigger we get, the better off everybody's going to do because the more stuff I'll just start bringing to here. No more eBay, no more Amazon, no more anywhere else. Just bringing it here to sell it. It makes my life much easier. I'll send out invoices tomorrow. I'll see everybody later. Mr. Boslot signing off. Thanks, everybody.